Yesterday, which was Saturday, we all got together for the Indian Raga Labs, and that was actually the first time we'd ever like met each other, other than like maybe online on a Google Hangout. But that was pretty low key compared to what we did yesterday. Um, yeah, we pretty much spent like the entire day with each other, just um, not only learning about each other, but also like understanding how we can work together and create a finished product that was. Uh, that was as close to flawless as we could in the short amount of time that we worked. I think trying to smile was like, one of the <laughs> biggest hardships for me. I mean, 
you feel like being in a recording studio, like, oh my gosh, this is like life changing. I'm in a recording studio. What am I going to do? I have to do it perfect. <laughs> and you completely forget like how much fun you're really having. And I think like being part of the Indian Raga Labs, it's just like allowed me to get to work with a bunch of people that I probably would not have gotten to work with before this experience. This weekend was great because I got to make new friends during our session uh, yesterday. The whole day was pretty much full of fun and just improv. And you had to pretty much come up with ideas, so that made everything a lot of fun. In other stuff, you are already given a set of music. You're given your set of rules that you have to follow. Here, it's pretty much you get to choose what you want to play with the bass set. But in like say in like all other orchestras, they give you your sheet music. You just read off of it, and just play it how they tell you to. Here, you can choose what you want to do and how you want to do it. It was pretty funny when we kept taking Vikrant's drums and just or bongos and just started whacking on them, <laughs> and yeah, for a while. And did you frustrate him? Yeah, and we got recorded doing it. So that I don't know where that's gonna end up. It's already on Facebook. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Um, for me, it was really cool to um, come together with everyone this weekend, seeing a lot of classical musicians, um, especially another Mridangam player, and um, playing Mridangam myself, I don't usually see that many other people who play it, and collaborating was part of the coolest things, especially being one of the, I was one of the older ones in this Indian Raga Lab, so for me, kind of seeing how everyone else is a younger musician and contributing my ideas and seeing them kind of do their thing, that was really cool and how we came together in one weekend and put together something. For me it was, I liked playing the Bidangam because it's a lot of math, like if, when you, especially when you switch between different like guys, it's like you really switch the math and for me explaining that to him was really cool and he's a very good player and seeing him pick it up so fast and really running with it was awesome. And the Indian Raga Labs was fun because um, uh, we combined Western music and Carnatic music together to form a new kind of music. And so that, like, it was different for me and I enjoyed the differentness. Well, I normally don't get to work with other musicians because Carnatic music, you normally are a soloist with accompaniment. But here you could really have everyone pitch in their own ideas and you could really take a classic note and turn it into something new and different. Um, so that's why I really like this experience. Pavan, Pranav and I, we all played um, the Kranz bongos and we did cool stuff with it and we just messed around and that was really fun to do. So You have to really work with the mirdangam, you have to work with the metronome, and you also have to keep up with the violins and the flute. So I think the beat was the hardest and most difficult part of it. Um, first of all, it's totally worth it coming all the way here for this because it's an amazing experience and I hope that Indian Raga does come to Chicago because then we don't have to make a haul drive for an awesome experience. <laughs> and the kids in Ohio, I mean, they're super talented. And I'm sure all the kids are everywhere, so it was really fun working with everyone. My favorite thing about this Indian Raga Labs program was that was about how we could actually record in a studio and how I could collaborate with my uh, collaborate with my peers and um, and how good I can make it sound so I can have other people hear it and mostly if I have my own kids I can push them to do this. You get to actually um, hear how you played <coughs> and um, you can record your own self on the speakers. I really like teaching um, kids music. Uh, what's different here is these are all kids who had learned a little bit of Western, but also class uh, Carnatic classical. Um, using Dikshitar's note, which is sort of a, a a natural combination of Carnatic classical and a Western note, with these kids who have had an exposure to both these genres of music was um, sort of fun. Um, it was nice to have them explore some ways to improvise this without compromising on. Um, you know, sort of the, the talam, uh, the raga, bringing both the Carnatic aspects and the Western aspects, um, and then having them make it put together and practice. Can you share <laughs> it? Was, it was fun. You know, this Indian Raga Labs experience helps kids with uh, studio recording experience, I think, which is a very unique experience to have. One of the things that happens with, um, you know, when kids learn, you know, music, 
classical music is they they learn what how to sing it how to play it but they don't always learn how to apply it in in this day and age uh, with so much technology coming up you know people use this use it this way all the time so knowing how it works how it's used how to apply it in some ways is a really good skill to have i mean definitely foundation is something that you need but you also need to know how to you know what the practical applications are what are the different possibilities what are the different options so i think that's um, something the other thing is you know coming together meeting other kids who they don't usually meet in their music classes or you know from a who learns from a different teacher and um, coming up with ideas working on something that's presentable in one day putting it together uh, it's sort of intense for these kids but i think that's also a unique experience for them so when i was at the the 2014 fellowship um this year um that's kind of when i learned about the studio recording you know um uh, the things that go into it you know how it's mixed later on how it's recorded so it really helped me to bring that experience here and and um, with the kids to apply it here and uh, learn more about studio recording and apply some of what i had learned to help these kids record uh, when they were performing